Hi, this is Sarah from the Tidio team. Today, I would like to show you how to customize and set your Tidio chat widget. To enter the adjustment panel of Tidio widget, head over to the settings, channels, and click on live chat. In channels, you will see four main sections. Appearance, where you can adjust the visuals of your Tidio widget. Sidebar, where you can set the chat widget to be displayed in a rectangular shape on the side of your website. Installation, where you can find the installation steps and codes. And chat page, where you can adjust a page with only the chat widget on it. That allows you to open the Tidio chat in a new, separate window. On the right side, you can see a preview of the chat widget. The preview allows you to check all the settings before an actual reflection of them in the chat widget installed on your website. You can also click on the drop-down menu at the top and see the chat widget settings in all the possible scenarios, like for example, when you're online or offline. At the top of the section, you will be able to choose the color of the widget and see a preview of it on the right. After clicking on the three dots, you can see even more color options. You can also click on the brush icon to browse through more colors. Please keep in mind that choosing colors from the palette are without the gradient. We recommend choosing a color that aligns with your brand colors. In our case, that is blue. A little below, you can find an option to change the position of the widget. By default, the widget is shown on the right side of the website. You can move it to the left side by clicking on the left side option. This will change the position only for the desktop widgets. If you wish to change it for mobile devices, Stay with us, we will explain it later with the mobile widget settings. If you would like to move the chat widget by a certain amount of pixels or move it higher or lower, take a look at the article we share with you in the description of this video. Keep in mind that this is an advanced setting and requires a custom CSS code implementation. We always recommend contacting your web developer to help you with this implementation. In the widget, there's also a space to send a short communication to your website visitors. In the chat, you can see four types of messages. Online status, so a message which will be displayed at the top of the chat widget when you are online in your Tidio panel. An offline message, so a message shown when a customer sends you a message during your offline hours. Offline status, so a message that will be displayed in the widget when you are in the offline status. And the label text, so a text displayed next to the closed chat widget icon when no bots are operating. You can enable it or disable it by switching the toggle next to the button label. If you would ever want to hide the chat widget temporary on your website or show it only on specific devices, you can use the chat visibility option. Click on the chat visibility drop-down menu and choose the best option of displaying the chat widget for you. By choosing the hide widget option, the chat widget will no longer be visible for your website visitors. If you would like to show widget again, just choose for which users the chat should be visible again, like, for example, for all desktop and mobile users. You can also choose the advanced option where you can specify the pages within your website where Tidio chat widget will not be displayed. For example, if you don't want to display it on all the product pages, you can type in the link that contains the product pages. For example, 
www.tidio.com slash products slash and set it to address contains. Lastly, you can enable or disable the chat widget sounds that your website visitors hear from the chat widget. For example, when a new message arrives. Now, let's get into the next section, the Get Started settings. Get Started widget is a welcome screen display when the conversation in the widget was not yet initiated. For example, the chatbots are disabled and the visitor hasn't sent you a message yet. Here, you can adjust the status, the message, or even add a background picture. In the mobile widget settings, you can change the position and the size of the chat widget bubble on mobile devices. You will see the changes after saving on your mobile device. Free chat survey can ask your visitors for their name, email addresses, phone numbers or GDPR compliance before starting the conversation. The pre chat survey will be displayed when visitors type in their first message. The collected information is later saved in the conversation panel as well as on the list with all the contacts collected through the TDO chat. The last multi-language section allows you to add additional languages that can be displayed for your international website visitors. Our software recognizes your visitor's browser's default language and displays the chat in the appropriate language. Please note that this option doesn't translate the conversations or bots' messages automatically. It only translates the chat widget messages and all its text and buttons. If one of the chosen languages is not pre-translated or if you want to customize each phrase individually, click on the Click Here button below the drop-down list. A translation panel will be presented to you where you can adjust all the phrases. We hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for staying with us. Don't forget to check our website and more resources on our help center. Till the next video.